so good evening students today uh, is our 24th day of uh, that is uh, intensive program where we are discussing about the uh, various frameworks various designs of public policies and we are discussing about the policies how they are shaping the content how is exactly they are supporting us but today specifically i am talking about the framework of state level grading system of uh, all the startups and of course the institutional monitoring of those startups that is how the institutions how the colleges are actually monitoring these startups those who are working as an e cell or a startup cell in the colleges so primarily i will be discussing more on that please move on to the next okay uh this is the definition of startup of course but i would like to know from you guys first what exactly uh, if someone is saying startup what comes in your mind or what is uh, what comes in your idea that okay this is the startup so basically it refers to the business a uh, newly started business so business which has uh, just entered into the market and just wanted to compete the person who is very new to the competition can be said that the company is a startup okay any other definition or any other uh, thought on this anybody would like to volunteer or contribute on this what exactly you are uh, actually once uh, if i am saying or anyone is saying the startup it means what actually so startup means an independent business where it sometimes need improvement in the product as well as it needs money for starting up also okay any other view so basically startup is something which like a business which is an uh, which is in its initial stages like it's still developing okay what a fair idea about this startup and you guys have enough idea on that see whenever we are talking about the startup uh, of course it's a very new business a business entity will which will be recognized as a startup for only 10 years from date of incorporation since last 3 years so pre preceding to the 3 years of existence and post that up to the 10 years of the time period the startup is coming actually then it is not exceeding 100 crores of turnover in a business and more specifically whenever i am talking about startup or anyone is or anybody is talking about the startup they are working in innovation they are working in development and improvement of product process or the services so until unless an innovation is not there a development and improvement of product or a service is not there that will not come as an startup okay so primarily these three are sub uh, definition of the startups and uh, it will be this is getting recognition through a government entity that is dpiit on findings form or mention all required documents legitimate will send information to cbdt to issue certificate of atiac atiac is income tax relaxation cbdt is what alok Uh, Did anyone know about this? No, sir. CBDT, Central Board of Direct Taxes. Okay. Central Board of the Direct Taxes. Because they are only issuing the certificate of ATIAC. Okay. DPIIT. What is that? Is DPIIT. do google it dp iit directorate of promotion information what is it can someone google it uh, so department of promotion of internal industry internal trade ha uh, industry internal trade that is dp iit this is a government body which is giving a recognition to all the startups and issuing a certificate 
This is the uh, status of Indian startup system ecosystem. This was uh, in the year of 2019. This is the not a fresh one. Uh, we were having some 55,000 of startups uh, launched in India. In active startups were uh, 40,000. DPIIT registered is 33,000. So, uh, funded startups, yeah, funded startups are. 385. See how the numbers they are decreasing. Launched 55,000. Active 40. DPIIT registered 33. Funded 385. The uh, worth of the, those startups $63 billion in year 2019. 5,400 uh, funding deals witnessed. Number of funded startups 3202. Seven years average time taken by Indian startups in reaching unicorn status. At that point of time, in the year 2019, a startup is actually taking seven years of time to reach onto the unicorn status. Uh, investors participated in uh, startup funding 4640, and most active venture funding or uh, venture capitalists. In this startup is Sequa Capital. Unicorn in Indian startup were 34. There is a uh, threshold limit uh, over and above that particular threshold limit that is the worth of the uh, particular organization or work or worth of that particular um, startup. We call them as unicorn. So under the threshold limit, it is called as a startup only. But once they are crossing that particular threshold limit, we term them as an uh, what you call unicorn. So we will not go to which actually what exactly is unicorn because uh, I will be delivering on this that how colleges are being actually monitored for this. So that is why we are not taking it here. Although we can take it in some other discussions what exactly the unicorns are and why or how it is different from startup to the unicorn okay please move on to the next uh, you might be knowing that uh, whenever we are saying that uh, a body is monitoring that is dpiit is monitoring or any of the organization is monitoring so they have a, a ranking system why the ranking system is required like in aspirational district also we were discussing about the ranking system. The ranking system actually is aspiring other startups or other colleges or other universities to work uh, to achieve those particular ranking and to achieve those action points or achieve those pillars of that particular startups or uh, uh, monitoring pillars actually. For that reason, uh, any of the regulatory body they are coming up with a framework and of course uh, once we call about uh, or once we say about the startup uh, regulatory bodies or institutions the two are coming under startup india and the government of india and the two have the framework on this so ranking of state on startup is giving a broader framework of how regulatory bodies and institutions shall work in sync towards enabling startup policy across states so we are giving a status um, as ranking to each of the state how good or how bad they are in startups. There are 26 action points out of which eight action points are based on feedback based on which the ranking alerted to each state. Feedback in the sense what all other uh, stakeholders are saying about that particular startup. So based on that feedback, eight action points are there and rest 26 total 26 are there so 8 is left out how much is left in 18 18 action points are for other of course pillars there is a broad view 
of these action points that are summarized to seven pillars. See, uh, you might have seen in our uh, aspirational listing also, there were certain pillars, and under the pillars, there were some of the uh, pointers or sub pointers in that. Indicators. So yeah, please. Uh, sir, I was saying that there were certain indicators in the aspiration. Indicators. Discussion. Indicators matlab, means a topic and a subtopic. So, likewise, here we have a seven pillars. Under these seven pillars, there are action points. Okay. So, these seven pillars are institutional support, simplifying regulatory process, ease in procurement, incubation support, seed funding, venture funding, awareness, and outreach programs. So, based on these seven of course, pillars. We are uh, we are taking a feedback from the people, taking the feedback from the users, that is stakeholders, and of course the action points, other action point, eighteen action points. We are taking a consideration of that, and using these pillars, we are marking these startups or these states. Please move on to the next. Can you enlarge this one? See, if uh, you see the institutional support, simplifying business, uh, that is procurement, ease of public procurement, incubation support, seed funding support, venture funding support, awareness and outreach program. If you see uh, this status is, please scroll up and then zoom it. All these those who are coming on 30, 30, 29, 26, 30, 30, 27. These all are the good states, of course. If you compare with, uh, please scroll to the right so that I can read the name of the uh, states also. No, no, left, 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 left. Okay, if you see, compare this, uh, Andhra Pradesh, the total marks is 23. Assam is 27. Which one is the best? 30. See, 30 is Madhya Pradesh. Ah, no, not Madhya Pradesh, Kerala. Okay. How can Madhya Pradesh be a better one? <laughs> of course. Then Karnataka. Then Jharkhand. Himachal. The worst is 3. Sikkim. So, People are some something is nil also. I feel, yeah, no, some point is there 15 or 18. Okay, so Sikkim, it means uh, at the eastern part of India, we are not focusing more. 15 Mizoram again, eastern part, so 17 Delhi, no, uh, yeah, it's Delhi. So in the year of 2019. The status was this that we or Delhi government or uh, NCR was not focusing more towards startup ecosystem. Okay, please move on to the next. This gives a uh, overall idea of, and uh, once we call upon that startups, uh, we do say that okay, there are certain states which are good in this. There are certain states which are best performers. There are certain states which are leaders. And there are certain states which are aspiring or emerging startup ecosystem is there. So what are those states? Best performers are, of course, Andaman and Nicobar Island among UP and Northeastern states. Gujarat among all other states. Top performer, Karnataka and Kerala. Leaders, Maharashtra, Bihar, Odisha, Rajasthan, Chhattisgarh. Aspiring is Punjab, Telangana, Uttarakhand, Jharkhand, Haryana, and emerging ecosystem that is Chhattisgarh, Uttar Pradesh, Tamil Nadu, Sikkim, Nagaland, Mizoram, Madhya Pradesh, Assam. So emerging means less than 10 percile. These states are coming under less than 10 percile. Aspiring means these Punjab, Telangana, Uttarakhand, Jharkhand, they are coming in between 10 to 30. Maharashtra, Bihar, Odisha, Rajasthan, Chandigarh. These are leaders, means 30 to 75. Top performing Karnataka. Top performing Karnataka and Kerala. They are coming between 75 to 100. Best performing is 100%. That is Andaman and Nicobar. 
and Gujarat. As per the ranking given in 2019 for startups, this is the ranking for the states. Although uh, this gets varied because in the year 2022, uh, during the pandemic, uh, there was uh, even uh, if you I see during the pandemic itself, uh, before the pandemic, uh, startups for uh, this what you call uh, space. Uh, oriented startups were only three registered, and during pandemic time, that is from 2020 to 2022, now we have somewhere down the line 22 startups for drone activities or for uh, uh, space research and all. So they are increasing; it's increasing day by day, and the statistic is varying huge actually. If you compare it from If you compare this 2019 startup ranking and the 2019 number of startups, two startups of uh, in the year 2022, a huge difference is there, of course. Please move on to the next. Now coming to institutes, if I talk about, if I really talk about the institutes, how good institutes are, or what is the institutional framework for monitoring of any startup. you might be knowing that uh, in each of the institute in each of the college we have in startup cell or the e cell that is entrepreneurship cell or uh, iic institution innovation council this is in place actually in all the colleges across india okay but what is the functioning of this actually they are uh, monitoring the working culture of all the startups and based on their working culture they are actually monitoring each of the colleges it's not only they are monitoring their institute on the same framework university is monitoring all the colleges too so coming how does that parameter is working actually whenever we are talking about the uh, e cell of institutional level function of entrepreneurship cell if there is an e cell in the college what all activities this e cell is doing visit of student to startup com company how many visit of student to incubators how many number of successful innovations converted to startup how many and adoption of startup policy by institute or not this is for functioning of entrepreneurship cell now going to number of funded innovation you might be knowing the phases of startups that is idea idea to prototype prototype to poc that is proof of concept proof of concept to market and market to of course import export also so based on this particular how many are there for idea how many are been funded for the idea how many are been funded for idea to prototype how many are been funded from prototype to proof of concept how many are funded for poc to market based on this we are actually grading or marking institution and the colleges then moves to resources resources for e cell or for startup cell in terms of grant from central government or state government institutional fund or sponsorship that is csr or otherwise please move on to the next now or the incubation cell or startup cell uh, in the ecosystem both are actually the players that is students and the faculty members so how many hands of training of faculty members by industry experts facilities of students to work on startups startups this is taken a note of this whenever we are talking about empowering of students and the faculty members then comes how many programs hosted by institution sponsored by university sponsored by host institute other funding agencies csr funding or co sponsored programs on each of the 1 2 3 4 5 
how many of the programs that institution have hosted there is a definite marking in this and based on that particular marking we are actually grading the institutes then comes the faculty achievements you might be aware of that uh, uh, whenever we are talking about startup it means uh, innovation is taking care or innovation is in place in startup and and if if i say that innovation is there in place it means uh, there will be a patent or the ip protection law will be there why it is this ip protection law can anyone identify or say about this sir ip protection law yeah so it is intellectual property so for example the patent trademark copyright industrial design geographic indication so these kind of things are protected by law so no person is having a right to those so what all are coming under this uh, alok sir patent uh, trademark geographical ind- uh, I, I, geographical indication hmm. and industrial design hmm. and copyright copyright so these all are coming under ip and there is uh, uh once we talk we are talking about the uh, startups it means we are talking that these startups are going either for trademark or for copywriting or for of course patent and once they go for it how many are there how many are been generated how many have been filled how many mentors have actually applied for that how many startups have been applied for that so that is the faculty achievement in terms of ip generation or the filling of the form please move on to the next okay what uh, students achievement as participants see uh, it's it is always there that whenever we are saying that we are going to conduct an event in a school or in a college so multiple level uh, programs are there actually likewise uh, you might be knowing that during our school days we keep on doing that uh, inter class level inter college level inter state level uh, uh, international level national level likewise the same framework is working here and for each of the competition there is a marking there is a marking given for the startups or for the startups of these colleges the uh, marking is as per this college level competitions how many inter college level competitions how many state level competitions how many national level competition how many international level competition how many that is how many students are actually participating in these types of competition that is college level inter college level inter state level international level or national level or international level how many students are actually participating in this then comes if they are participating in this it means there will be a winner among among these participant only so how many students are getting achievement as an winner in these particular programs at college level at inter college level at state level at national level or at international level so based on these we are actually there is a threshold limit and a scale of 1 to 5 sometimes scale of 1 to 10 is also there uh, a framework is been actually used or utilized in colleges and by that we are actually giving the ranking to the colleges please move on to the next if you see this let me okay i cannot open it you can open it uh, from here uh, just click it click on at any of the link either startupindia.gov.in or startupindia.gov. sir i am also not able to get access i know she can only do it we cannot the person click on that click on this so we can't open it we can't open it how we can do she only can do she am do
twice just click with uh, control sir i'm doing it but it's not opening sir can i just type it on the google yeah yeah you can you can startup dot startup india dot gov dot in close this one it's been done you can close it here this particular slide actually wait a while now i can open it from here itself are you able to see my uh, this thing wait yes sir we can is it visible to you all yes sir it yes, is yes, okay so startup ranking in india see what is the framework the score to different action points may be divided into following categories absolute scoring absolute scoring with feedback relative scoring relative scoring with feedback this is how they are actually doing the scoring on that this is institutional support five number fostering innovation and entrepreneurs four number number of aps absolute scoring and relative scoring access to market five incubation support four funding support three mentoring support two capacity building of enablers three total 26 number of aps okay likewise absolute scoring number of uh, aps is 16 for each of this with absolute scoring with relative scoring 10 and feedback mechanism what they are doing is research startup startup with department of promotion dpiit uh, or state or ut will be considered as research startup or for feedback states and ut shall provide contact details of beneficiaries in respective action points documentary evidence of compliance sample of 50 respondents shall be selected randomly from claimed beneficiaries for feedback of category a a 70% positive feedback will result in acceptance of the number of claimed beneficiary for category a state in general where the number of beneficiaries is less than 50 no feedback will be taken so over and above 75 it is good less than 50 they are not considering it okay how and what they are doing is take the example just state 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 claim one fees 156 feedback calls these many positive responses these many accepted beneficiaries these many and then the relative scores based on this in the case one in the case one of state 2 this since the number of claim beneficiaries are less than 50 okay the feedback shall not be collected got it if the feedback calls are not there less than 50 they will not be collecting uh, seven like within seven all state except two three seven have qualified for assigning score since positive feedback is received from at least 70% of the respondents based on this uh, 70% they have actually got it and that is why they are taking it for feedback mechanism now comes to relative scoring these all the states claim number of programs this accepted accepted number of program this relative score this let me give you uh, why they are not taking this state 2 for the above illustration state 5 with maximum number of accepted program that is 12 this state 5 12 program has been awarded the maximum score 2 okay rest of all are less than 
to 15 they have actually claimed for and accepted 12 so that is why all the states and duties are required to submit documentary evidence for the claimed number of programs as specified in the action program so they need to give an action point wherein they need to say that how many claimed number of programs are there and for that they are required to give a documentary evidence too this is category a for states this is category b this is the number of number given to them to these particular states what all those uh, reform area or questions they are asking actually is the following information available through startup portal all 12 points startup policy details of state nodal officer nodal department dedicated team for startup helpline number is there startup registration including api integration details of all state level approval clearance required for registering list of state sponsored incubators accelerators this all data actually they are required to give it and based on that actually the marking is been given absolute scoring access to information through state startup portal score maximum 6 so for if all the details are there 100% weightage is given that is for each 12 questions 0.5 is actually the marking and by that they will get a maximum score of 6 likewise for each and everything supporting documents for provided by the state they are actually referring it here for reform area that is institutional support is the information on startup portal available in the local or official language of the state yes or no if no then what all the action points are there if yes what all the option option points uh, reform area institutional is there an online platform for startup to submit request or grievances on the following points incubation support if uh, a grievances cell is there for funding support grievances cell is there public procurement grievances cell is there invite regulatory issues grievances cell is there any other query grievances cell is there or they can submit the request based on this the leave marking is given up to the score of three document weight is 100 percent okay likewise how many unique uh, women led startups have received support through special initiatives they here they are talking about the women entrepreneurship okay number of unique women led maximum five and policy or the scheme list of unique women led details of incentive given to them so this is a broader uh, look if you see here number of departments providing institutional support see departments covered agriculture home pwd public health engineering health and family welfare hand flume, uh, and handicraft industries and commerce education it information public relations pollution control each and every transport skill development urban development social welfare science technology disaster power police each and every department they are taking a note that they are as an institutional support or not it means these departments or the ministries are in sync to the startup policy of that particular state or not so for all the things they are actually referring if you see the big data for the purpose of ap disruptive technologies and innovation that significantly alter the way the consumers industries or business operate sector concern may include e-commerce online news site news sites ride sharing apps gps system fintech ai ml cyber security blockchain big data transport urban mobility e vehicle biotech healthcare e pharmacy civil aviation for all these things they are actually taking a note regulations and acts are there in place or not and if it is there then only the score is given uh, that is five else the reduced uh, scoring will be there for them how many programs have been undertaken in higher education to support student inter, uh, entrepreneurs Le greater than 20 programs between 10 to 20 programs between 1 to 9 programs nil as for that the numbering is given so it is greater than 10 which is this, this 5 to 10 which is this so likewise they are actually giving the scoring based on that uh, access to market 
as per relaxation and following criteria have been given increased participation startup to public procurement they are talking about governor government order on notification outlining relaxations using of sample rfps are there or not so if this is there the marking is been given accordingly if this is not in place the marking will be less to them here they are talking about the uh, uh, access to market and once they are talking about the access to market that is the program may include gem workshop buyer seller meet demo and demand days grand challenge hackathons innovation zones and any other innovative product showcase opportunity that should go on actually once they are say, saying that they are actually into the uh, startup and they are saying that they are planning some of the activities for access to market these all activities needs to be taken care these all activities needs to be done so cause this they need to celebrate national and international events they need to celebrate any other innovative product showcase opportunity like mela and all they need to create and based on that uh, the numbers are there so many things are there are coming under access to now comes the incubation support how many incubators are there more than 12 5 to 12 1 to 12 and if a uh, minimum support for existing uh, uh, incubator for 3 lakhs of rupees or 10 lakhs of rupees how exactly it is and based on this the scoring is been done capacity utilization okay as well as some program how government uh, are supporting how departments are supporting how the number of uh, mous are there how the mentorship is there how the research work and development is taking care of uh, for this startup cells or is how many free trainings how many funding is been given to these startups this all and the problem area of course funding support how many mous budget allocation proof of release of fund they required to actually Uh, upload it, and based on that, uh, the weightage has been given, and the numbers are been allotted to the states. Funding support: three hundred and twelve program, seven to twelve program, one to six. So this is a framework where they are talking about the mentorship support. How many startups are actually working under this? Sixty to hundred, more than hundred, twenty to fifty-nine, less than twenty startups. What they are going under this? How many uh, corporates are coming as a mentor? How many government organizations? investors are coming as a mentor how many academicians are actually coming for mentorship so average number of hours spent by mentor for like we are meeting for each day one hour or two hour or three hours likewise you need to make a plan if we are meeting more than five hours or three to four hours one to ten hours specific number of hours three to four is actually having two numbers more than five hours three numbers is been allotted capacity building of each of the enabler and then a final submission is given based on these things uh, how the angel investors are working so this is the framework where uh, each of the startup or the uh, startups or e cells are working uh, across india for institutes or for the colleges if you guys have any of the uh, doubt do let me know because uh, we we'll, we have nothing to share or we have nothing to discuss around more than this but if you guys have any of the doubts for incubation also you can ask to me because i am i am also the uh, iic council member of igno yeah please so how much time did it take for implementing this particular policy uh usually 3 hours uh, 3 uh, years or so you cannot define it in one year that this particular policy is in place and institutions and the stakeholders are working under this because at least 6 to 8 months it will take time for them to understand it and then uh, some somewhere down the line 3 months it will take to identify the stakeholders so this will incur some one year or so and post that one year the activities needs to be done more and more in institutes so after the 3 years of uh, activity that is policy in place and then the activity then you can think for the outcome of those uh, uh, activities actually okay sir and sir uh, is the ministry of industry and trade looking after this policy uh, 
actually if you take the uh, startup policy uh, this startup policy is the bridge policy for all of the ministries it's not only that uh, that particular ministry okay, primarily sir. it is coming under msme actually okay, okay. this uh, the department or the ministry the uh, major department or the major stakeholder of startup policy is msme then comes the industry minister industrial ministry of course uh, the minister who is uh, I MSME actually, or undertaking the task of MSME, he or she is actually the minister of uh, industries too. In all the states, also the same uh, same uh, method is used or utilized. Okay, so MSME is taking care more and more about, or the minister who is uh, MSME taking care of MSME ministry, he is the best person to actually. Uh, give the guideline towards all the ministries and the departments. Any other query? No, sir. How Not many of me. you you guys have visited any of the startup or your e cell? At least your college e cell. Apne apne college ki e cell gaye ho ki nahi gaye ho? Kitna log gaye? Hand raise karo zara. Let me see. No one. So next time, what you do is once you go to your colleges, okay. Ask your uh, uh, college head or ask your uh, class teacher. I must say that at least plan a visit to your incubation cell or e cell of the college or the university at least. Then. Uh, Plan a visit to the incubation cell also. See, there is a different cell working in universities. The good universities, they have an entrepreneurship cell, E cell that is okay, and they have the incubation cell also, where uh, a different setup is there. That is a lab kind of things are there for each and every activity. So try to actually visit these startups. Or try to visit these e cell of the colleges. Plan a meeting with your uh, e cell head or the IIC council head. Speak to them, sir. Kya ho raha hai? Kaise ho raha hai? What all things we can do it uh, for your for your college, for your institute, and of course for state also. It is indirectly actually relevant to the state uh, startup policy too. So plan karo. Is chiz ko kabi bhi kar sakte ho aap to ki haan. I can do one thing. Uh, I can plan one of the visit in Abdul Kalam Technical University. वहाँ का ईसल कैसे काम कर रहा है? That I can plan. It's in uh, Jankipuram, uh, the technical college or technical university of Uttar Pradesh, the biggest technical university. Because my office was that only, so I can plan that, and I can plan a visit um, uh, for you guys to actually have a visit around the ECL and have a chit um, uh, chat even for with the. Isel head of university also, Mahip will actually, Mr. Mahip is there, so you we can visit there if you guys are ready for that, so that we can do. Yes, sir, we should visit that particular thing. Okay, uh, any other queries? Team leaders, would you like to say or convey something here? Yes, sir. So actually, I would like to tell everyone that I have made the. changes in google form so i would like everyone to just go through the form once and tell me if anything you want to know or you want to ask about okay regarding the research work uh, there were certain yes, modifications was in plan so team leaders have said and uh, they did it actually much as i know kushi was working on that so you all guys prepare uh, or please go through it and uh, if at all something is uh, Something you would like to understand from them or from me, you are most invited. Always welcome. Uh, request all to switch on your uh, uh, videos so that we can have a peek also. And uh, team leaders, did you have a uh, attendance of the day? No. You all guys are sitting in uh, such a good room. i am sitting in dark <laughs> usually the light combination i am not able to make it out how to do it that is why 
i was planning before uh, each of the day i am planning how to go for a light and all and again and again the same thing happens fir chhod deta hu leave it kis le ke theek hai so uh, good day to all uh, enjoy of course go through uh, what you call uh, the google form request all to switch on of course if you are there and you can switch it on it's good of course because the more number of picks are there or more number of people in the pick is there i am sharing that particular pick in the social media so that is why okay so rest uh, take care any of the Thank queries you. please let us know uh, in the group and of course on sunday or uh, not on sunday on monday we don't have a session offline the sessions will be on tuesday wednesday thursday okay so monday will be the online session Let's take care. Goodbye. Sir, thank you, sir. Yeah, yeah. So I wanted to ask that uh, for assignment three, we have to present it on a Friday. Yeah, you have to submit it on uh, Friday. Yes, Friday is the last date. So uh, plan a meeting as per the teams. Okay, you all guys meet, discuss around uh, you among yourself. If you required my guidance on that, you can very well call in. me also for discussion i am very well available okay just ask me sir hum ye karna cha rahe hain and i am there okay plan accordingly we can meet on and discuss on okay but uh, do it in teams discuss uh, for that particular uh, theme which you are actually focusing for because each state or each country is having a different uh, structure once we talking about the women leadership so and you need to choose the topic also accordingly ki kya topic aapko lena hai among yourself uske hisab se aap taiyar karoge then you can will try the bylines ki kaise likha jayega do it it will be a good practice for you all actually working in teams and planning an activity or planning a how to write uh, not in solo of course in a team how to write it it's good okay just take care bye bye